Tomatoes are grown back there. We have all types of vegetables. There's nurseries and expansive gardens in places you might not expect. The men's East Mesa re-entry facility in Otay Mesa. And at the women's Las Colinas detention re-entry program in Santee. Right now we're just cleaning up off the dead stuff, off of the flowers. The people caring for the plants and vegetables are inmates with less than six months left in their sentences. 8.66 pounds. Here, they're just students learning the art of horticulture, landscaping, and farm-to-table sustainable growing. The leaves of the other succulents. 38-year-old Pemberton Tran has become quite the expert in succulents. Yeah. So what I'm doing is, uh, since I'm reproducing, right, and it, it, you see, you clearly see the roots, right, growing, and I'll, I'll, I'll cut the end of the other leaf, right, and then I'll just repot it. And 20-year-old Brianna from the Coachella Valley. Yeah, these are very, very sweet, and they're... There's nothing better than tasting something right off the vine or from the soil. Now considers herself a farmer. Never would I have thought, but I'm very glad that I am. <laughs> Francisco Quinteros is a supervising correctional counselor with the program. We also have the oak trees that are almost ready to take to our county parks. He says they're growing more than plants here. They're helping people grow. We're investing in people here. So it's just really rewarding knowing that, you know, we're helping individuals that never got a chance um, in life. And now we're, you know, equipping them with the proper tools necessary to not come back. Tran can't believe he's become so skilled in such a short amount of time. This peaceful greenhouse is a sharp contrast from a life he's healing from. No, this is all new to me, you know. So I'm a, a combat veteran you know, and a recovering addict. And I came back feeling suicidal and I, I felt like no one understood. And uh, this program, uh, civics program, has been um, pretty much a safe haven for me to uh, rehabilitate and uh, work on recovery. This program is a partnership between the San Diego Sheriff's Department and the San Diego County Parks and Recreation Department. When inmates complete the program, not only will they have the know-how and certification, they will also be given connections to land a job. Tran says in an odd way, it's given him freedom, not just in here, but on the outside too. We gotta have options, you know? Um, so my, my mind is, when, when I step out that door, at least I know I have this as an avenue of seeking employment. When you have something really good, I think that you just want to share it with people. Brianna says she plans to take what she's learned and give back to her community. We have a community garden in Desert Hot Springs. I don't know how it's doing right now, but I would really love to do something and show what I learned to other people. Her favorite thing to grow? I really like the flowers because the flowers are super resilient. They grow and they die and they just come right back and they're just... I love them. A perfect metaphor for second chances, exactly what this program provides. When you fall, you should always get back up. And I think that getting back up isn't just, oh, okay, I'm going to try it again. No, it's you're going to find something that works for you. And I think that this works for me because it makes me mindful and it makes me genuinely happy. Over at East Mesa, Tran says back in the day, his mom would try to get him to garden with her. And I'm like, oh, I don't, I, I got stuff I need to do. But now he's looking forward to giving her a hug and a hand in the backyard. I only have my mom left. You know, my dad passed away last year. And um, I think this, this experience right here um, was meant to be, you know, for, so when I get released, I'd be able to spend more quality time with her, you know, and um, maybe I could teach her a few things <laughs> or she could teach me a few things, you know. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.